All right, let's get right into the market update here. Looks like market was down 0.6% on Friday. At close here, as you can see, NASDAQ is also down. Semiconductor is down 4%. Um, looks like Dow, Russell 2000 held up better here. Uh, biotech is up slightly. Apple, Google, Green. However, as you can see, Amazon's down, Microsoft down, Nvidia got hit about 6% there. AMD, Tesla, Netflix, SMCL, these guys are red. However, it uh, looks like Bitcoin, Ethereum is up, gold, or the uh, crypto mining stocks, uh, they've been uh, green uh, last several days. Let's stick with the Spider! 65 minute chart. here so this is where we closed on thursday right so as you can see we actually gapped up here on friday morning and we rallied higher on that first hour as you can see uh, looks to be maybe a little bull flag run there a little micro term push on friday morning and then looks like the second hour we did look we did see that bearish candle coming back uh, all that gain from the first hour has been evaporated and then it came back down second or third fourth hour something something different happened here because uh, from what i've talked about on my last analysis that micro has been acting as important pivotal level it means you see the micro term moving average that's the micro term here this is the first time as you can see here this market traded all around the micro term like it's not there it's micro term has been violated it's been completely disrespected <laughs> going all the way back to february so we're looking at about a month and a half here so the micro term you see right here micro term it gaps down and you see how it acts as resistance 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 it gets reclaimed you see how it acts as support 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 all right come over here we you see it held right on that micro term it gaps down below it it gets so the market is pretty much it's this entire time for two months it's been aware of the micro term the market don't want to deal with the micro term either bears or bulls bears don't bears don't want to deal with this so they'll gap it down bulls don't want to deal with it so they'll gap it up so here as you can see right here right that that that's the micro term bears gaps down below the micro term and then bulls right here that's the micro term that aqua Bulls gap it up and then spends the entire day my reprogramming the micro term. You see how micro term is, is getting respected. Same thing happened there two days later. Micro term act as support. And then on that day, it closes right on the micro term. And the next day, it gaps down below the micro term. And what happened? The micro term act as resistance for three straight days. You see that right here? Micro term, micro term, micro term, micro term. And then it thrusts above it on this day last hour above the micro term what happened it gaps above it so you see how market is trying its best for a month and a half try to avoid eye contact with the micro term <gasps> it wants either gap up above it or gaps down it does not want to deal with it and then bulls will try for days right to reprogram that micro term above it right happen here happen here and then it happened here and then it happened just last week right here and you can see even then there's a micro term it gaps below it and then it acts as resistance resistance right and then it gaps above it and then the micro term acts support and then gaps above it comes down this is the first time ladies and gentlemen for the first time 
in the last two in the last month and a half market had had it with the microtarm market don't want to deal with the microtarm for the first time in the month and a half the microtarm has been violated completely disrespected hung, 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 hung. but i know when something changes in the matrix right when something changes in the matrix that means there's something going on underneath the agents the agents the agents are coming Let's go. The bear agents possibly because the way it disrespected the micro term here is to the downside. 50% 50, 50 of that gas still remains open. This much is filled on Friday, third, third hour. But we still have 50% open. So as long as I'm gonna say this though, as long as this gap remains open. And we're above my short term because short term is there to sort of support the micro term. As long as we're above the short term and the gap remains, I think bulls can still bring it up and keep this charade going. Perfect. But in any event that we break below the short term and this entirety of this gap is filled, especially if bears gap it down, that could mean much more uh quicker bloody days because uh if the bears gap it down uh this entire thing is going to turn into an island down gap setup mind you we have not seen a island down gap since november lows so it's been four months more than four months there are about two three island up gaps but there has not been one single island down gap, not even an attempt on spider, not even an attempt. There has not been one single island down gaps. So if something's changed in the matrix, first, the micro term has been violated, which has never, it has not happened before. Two, there has not been a island down gap. If we do see an island down gap sometime early this week, that's going to be something that we have not seen. And with those two items that something has changed in the matrix, then something is going on underneath where the market finally, for the first time in four, more than four months, showing its true colors and showing its teeth. Huh? So while we give benefit of the doubt to the buyers in the mid to long term, but I think we're starting to see some kind of a signals here in this micro to short term, which that can lead to midterm bearishness. For now, short term, micro to short term, vulnerable. Midterm and the long term, still bullish. Perfect. So as you can see here on the oscillator, oscillator crosses down below the micro term. Oscillator crosses down below the micro term. Oscillator crosses down below the micro term. Oscillator crosses down. We're technically below the micro term. Not with the down gap though, but it's been, uh, it's been again, the micro term has been violated. We're below the micro term. Uh, keep in mind though, we're still above the short term where the gap is still there. The oscillator just crossed down. We still got ways to go to the bottom of his band. So bears are might trying to take advantage of current situation. So Monday is going to be very important how this market plays out. And that could set the tone for how it's going to play out for the entire week coming up this week. I'm going to come back for you. We'll reassess the situation. Asian injury evening. Go train tomorrow.